Good morning guys, another beautiful day here. So one of our trailers, trucks, was in a little accident. And let me tell you, this is where it's really, really frustrating when you run specialty equipment. This is a trailer that was involved and the driver was at a truck stop sleeping and a trailer or another truck decided to back in beside him and ended up just back into him right here. So hit here, also hit here. And the really bad thing is, is this, this, this piece right here, um, where it started to tear that aluminum. That's where I don't know how bad or how much this frame rail does here in the bottom, but it's definitely a little risky. Our guy was able to bring it back but he was a little concerned. Now, this is a, like I said, this is a specialty trailer. This is a belt trailer. You can see the belt that runs underneath and there is a frame under there that it, that it uh, goes on. So how much this side rail does, I don't know. Um, but you can see what's attached to that fifth wheel plate. It's more so this, that solid frame rail at the bottom, but Still, these are tricky to replace or tricky to weld. <clears throat> it's going to take a lot of rivets. So if we take this rail off, all these rivets got to come out. Right? And front to back, it's like 50. It's probably around 50 foot, 50. Yeah, well, this is a 48 foot trailer. So it's it's going to be right, right close to probably 48 to 50 foot. But yeah, this trailer is a belt trailer and is down. So I can't just go to rider and rent a van trailer or like if if this was a van trailer it's something that i could easily do i could go get another van trailer but in our application we have overweight permits so if i would rent a uh, find a belt trailer for rent i would have to get overweight permits on it i just make sure everything's specced right and a lot of times uh you you know they don't like if you get overweight permits for a rental trailer so if I get permits and I got to add it to each of the trucks and it is a lot of paperwork, it's a mess. I am hoping that we can get this thing back going pretty quick. So also took out the tarp, uh, ripped the tarp there at the edge. I don't know if you can see that right there. So that's got to get fixed. That's not as big of a deal. Um, but still frustrating because these trailers are well over a hundred thousand dollars and when they go down uh you just not make any revenue with them right so thankfully this isn't our only belt trailer uh this is one of four so we uh we have some other belt trailers that we've been using or obviously using um pretty much our belt trailers right now though is none of them are sitting we're using we're utilizing every single one of them uh they're probably uh i don't want to say the most versatile but for what we do they work they work pretty decent they work pretty slick and pretty much from day one when they come in they are uh they're running i have another trailer coming in so that's going to be probably may i think till it gets here so hopefully hopefully we can get this fixed and back out on the road again but unfortunately it's probably going to be at least i'm guessing probably three weeks three weeks down because that rail's got to get ordered or it's got to get shipped the whole way in from idaho and those panels a couple panels posts all that stuff's got to come in from idaho so that's probably about a week shipping right there and then we got to get it in get everything tore apart and put back together so just trying to figure out what you know exactly if that rail needs to be replaced the other thing is is it kind of does hurt the resale value you know but we'll see we'll see if it has to get torn off or not so whether it's our fault or whether it's the you know someone else's fault accidents are just never fun it's always frustrating because a truck or a trailer is down and uh, it can, yeah, it's just not, not pretty. I'd any day rather not have this stuff bagged into. Downtime is not good time. 
then with this beautiful weather, flatbed season is approaching us very quickly. And this is where we're getting, uh, they had to get all the flatbeds worked through and get them in the shop. I think they're just about done, but they go through and just check over each one very well. And sometimes there's odds and ends, boards that need replacing the bed, uh, whatever else, but they'll go through, check everything out really well. Here, it's just a matter of time. We've already been busy. You can see that one truck's ready to load it up uh, with material to, to ship out. But this is the season. It's just starting. It's always good to see full loads of stone like this. Loaded up, ready to go out. This stuff is always tricky to haul. So there's, we put straps through the bottom of the pallet. Uh, a lot of guys don't like to haul this stuff, but this is pretty much about the only way you can do it. And we've been hauling it like this for years. So the guys will put uh, straps through the pallet like that instead of over top because otherwise it cuts the bands or it cuts the straps. And yes, this stuff will get knocked off, right? The guys come in. So one thing we do a little bit different is our guys will come in our, our yard guys come in when they load the trailer. They strap down for the drivers. So pretty much all the drivers gotta do is drop and hook. And so this got preloaded. And then when the driver comes in, hopefully he remembers to walk down through here and prep his trailer. All right guys, so this is the piece that's coming in to get engraved. This is a big tombstone. Um, I don't know, what, what's this size, like four foot? Four foot by six foot. Four foot by six foot. So this is the back side. And it's a headstone for five people. A headstone for five people. Wow. That's a good idea. Five for one. Let's check out this uh, fire tabletop. Can't even see those lines. So this is sealed. Um, here you can see the cracks a little bit, but very, or not near as noticeable. Hopefully it's solid now. But it gives you a little idea. Stone comes in broken. Uh, what can be done to put everything back together? Show you a little what's going on here in the shop today. Good morning, buddy. Pipes are going on. Look at that. I gotta back up to get that on one one uh, frame. Because it's so shiny. It's so tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make it look a little bit different. These stacks came off truck 156, which was that truck out of Texas. Uh, what came was, or what we took off that truck was basically from the elbows the whole way up. So the elbow and the other two pieces and they're gonna go on this truck so we got the other one over here every time I start the video Uh-oh, a little too hard. <laughs> so if you want to see a one stack Peterbilt, here it is. And guys, back out to this trailer again. This is the frustrating part of getting one of your pieces of equipment in an accident. Well, guess what? This is like, what, day seven or eight after it happened, and it's still sitting here. So it's like working with people on getting quotes, and is this something that, you know, should get replaced or not? Because, you know, you don't want to have that, you know, I just don't know how, how structural this is, right? So, you know, working with a Western on it, they've been great, but still, it's back and forth. You know, do we replace it, don't we? Uh, getting their recommendations. But I think we're close and hopefully 
hopefully we can get this thing back on the road soon. So we're not starting anything till we have the parts here, which is still gonna be at least two weeks. It takes about two weeks to ship. So all the parts will be coming in from Idaho. And that means, yeah, about two weeks shipping. And, and like that bottom rail is 48. It's gotta be all 48 foot long because it's the whole length of the trailer. And it's also means a lot of work because all the lights, huck bolts, all those got to get uh, got to get ground off and and put new ones in. So we're getting there. We're getting there. But the challenging part is we're getting into our busy season, and we could really, really use this trailer. And it's just sitting here, and it's probably going to be at least three weeks from now till it's out of here which with this beautiful weather it's it's our busy season is starting much quicker but i think it's not going to be quite as intense as you know right off the bat so we're getting busy but it's not like crazy crazy so if this was april and we'd be getting weather like this this would be a whole lot more challenging but because this is uh still early march not a big deal or not as big of a deal still got to work around it but uh we can get by all right guys that'll do it for this one thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one peace out